They saw something suspicious and said something. That's how police tracked Daryl Brooks to a Waukesha neighborhood after prosecutors say he drove through the Christmas parade, killing six and injuring dozens more. The jury in his murder trial is now learning more about his arrest. Our Sam Kramer joins us live tonight in Waukesha. And Sam, the state says it is planning to rest its case sometime this week. Yeah, hi there, Steph. The deadline keeps pushing back, but at least for now, it looks like the planned arrest is on Wednesday. But tonight, prosecutors detailed just how police got Brooks into custody, what he was like during that arrest, but also how his behavior changed once he learned FBI agents were involved. In just a T-shirt on a cold November night, prosecutors say this doorbell video shows Daryl Brooks right after the Waukesha Christmas parade. I'm part of Uber, and I'm supposed to be waiting for it over here, but I don't know when it's coming. Can you call it for me, please? Brooks was on Daniel Ryder's doorstep. I gave him a spot to sit and wait for the Uber and a sandwich. Just minutes later, so were the police. Hands up! Put your hands where I can see them! Put your hands up! Hands up! Hands up. This is Big Ben police officer Rebecca Carpenter's body camera. Carpenter and two other out of town officers responded to Elizabeth Street, not far from where police found the SUV Brooks was driving. Neighbors had called saying a man was loitering door to door. What is your name? Brooks. They arrested Brooks, who fit the description of the parade attack suspect. It could have been mistaken identity. <laughs> it could have been. But it was not. Then prosecutors called the police officers who encountered Brooks later that Please night. Please have a seat. Including Draylen Leha. Mr. Brooks said, uh, when, once we were going to respond to Wisconsin, um, and I quote, he said, uh, damn, it looks like they were dealing with something heavy. And Detective Jake Carpenter, who prepared to interview Brooks alongside the FBI. He was definitely surprised, and I could tell he was uncomfortable. Now, tomorrow, Detective Carpenter will retake the stand, and the jury will hear audio of his interview with Brooks that night, which was done at Waukesha Memorial Hospital. Also, some point tomorrow morning, Brooks will actually call his first witness out of turn, because that is when a Spanish interpreter will be available for the court. We're live tonight in Waukesha, Sam Kramer. Fox 6 News. This will be the first time we'll hear him question a witness, so we'll see what happens there. Sam, thank you for that. Make sure to stay with Fox 6 for the latest from this trial. We are streaming it on the Fox 6 News Milwaukee YouTube page, the Fox 6 News Milwaukee Facebook page, on our website and on our app.